Well, good morning YouTube. It's been a while since I've done an update. Um, and here's where I'm at. I've got the plane primed. A couple of coats of primer on there. I've got all the little bits and bobs on. Propellers uh, just on there for show for now. I tried to do some scribing because um, I had sanded most of the rivet detail off. And so I just, you know, I got to get me a scribing tool, really. I, I used what I had and it, it, it looks okay. But that was my first scribing attempt, so not too bad. Um, the big change I made was probably here and here. I cut out the uh, flaps, <clears throat> added a putty to the ends of them, and put them in the down position just for. I had seen other modelers do that, and I'd never tried that, so that's a first for me. And it came out pretty good. Adds interest to the wings, and not just straight out. I thought about doing the rear stabilizer and all that, but nah, I thought that was good enough for now. Um, <clears throat> this kit is, you know. Coming along, here's the bottom, Got the pitot tubes up front, weights in the airline, weights in the back, model wasn't, instructions weren't too clear of exactly where they went, but they, I think that's where they go. Um, still got some imperfections. Um, I've tried and tried and tried to get rid of them and, uh, well, my skills just aren't up to par yet, but uh, it's not too bad. Got the landing gear on. Everything's ready to go for uh, paint work. So, this is just a quick update um, to show you where the model's at. Lockheed Electra 10E. Flown by Amelia Earhart for Frankie Day's Historical Aircraft Group Build. And I'm having a lot of fun. I'm enjoying the build. And next up is paint. We're going to let... Uh, this has been curing now for... Oh... Uh, eight hours, maybe. So we're going to let this uh, cure most of the day today, and tonight I'm going to give it one last look over, make sure there's nothing else I want to, I mean, I could, I could see just sitting here and looking at it, I can see things that I, uh, I could still work on, but I think it looks pretty, pretty good though, regardless of all those little things. Um, and I'd like to build maybe a couple of more, at least another plane for, for Frankie Day's group build. So I'm going to probably start the paint on this. And then the hard part is going to be, uh, the red. Um, it's got red paint that goes along the front of the wings and comes down and I'll show you the box <clears throat> the box shows it right on the wing here and uh, it's not a very good picture but they give you details and this goes on the back, on the top, on the back uh, rear stabilizer, and these are on the front of the wings. Now, if you notice the way it's made, it wraps around the front and goes underneath and over the top. 
Well, I've put plenty, I've put decals on before, but good grief. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll give it a shot. Um, I might just end up painting it, which is fine. Um, but, you know, it's a kit, and the kit comes with decals, so I'm going to try it out, see how it works. If they go on there nice and straight and I'm able to get it lined up good, then that's great. I mean, I'd like to build them with the decals. That's, you know, they come with the kit, so. Um, I love some of these other decals on here. Uh, of course, I'm going to save those, but. I might, I, I think I'm going to pick up another one of these kits just to, because I'd like to build it with some of these other versions. I, I think they'd look great. And plus, uh, give me more practice on my skills. But there she is, Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Electra, and uh, really pretty plane, really nice looking plane. Um, I'm going to attempt to use <clears throat> the um, crystal clear for the smaller windows not because I had to or because I just because I'd never done it before and you know this is a plane of first really so I'm gonna try see how that comes out um, I've already learned a bunch of stuff on this airplane I've learned I need a scribing tool as I mentioned earlier I, it, the scribing came out but basically I used an exacto knife or whatever I had handy I, I I don't have anything you know I know I've seen people put <clears throat> QDC has shown videos where he's put a needle in uh, in one of these tools here um, the pin vise inscribed that way um, I didn't have a sewing needle to do that so I ended up using my uh, exacto knife and it came out good came out good not not <clears throat> tried to get the lines as straight as possible and for the most part I didn't do too bad there's a couple that are testing my <laughs> uh, patience but <clears throat> I think they're they look pretty good good enough for now um, but anyways this is an update um, Thanks for the view, and we should get some paint on her this weekend, and uh, I'll come back with a, a probably a quick update just to give you an idea of what it's what she's going to look like with some paint on her, and uh, hopefully by the end of the week we'll be putting decals on. Alrighty, again, thanks for the view, and uh, see you next time. Bye.